okay, you can throw that in. Right, come on. Not quite if that's a steel pond now. Right, come up here and we'll walk down. See if you can see some Daddy, duck. No, 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 not in there, Harry, see? Why? Because I don't want you to get stung to see. Thank you for your special effects. That's fantastic. That was a great one. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, we're, we're playing hyperdrill now on the Sega Saturn. Another techno soft classic. So yeah, I think we'll play Sega Saturn mode because it does have um, incredibly nice enhancements. It's got some. I would say minor graphical enhancements and certainly uh, the sort of music and uh, general orchestration is really, really good on this one. So let's go with that one. Quite different both the modes, uh, different kind of colour palettes, different um, explosion effects. Good value for money, effectively this game. Couldn't see them coming. Yeah, good value for money. <laughs> Really good value for me, at least £100 a game. I know, it looks, looks the business, this one. It really looks the business. That's one of my sort of uh, co pilots. Let me try and get a bit more audio. There we go. That's better. Classic techno soft fashion, this is running an absolutely solid 60 frames a second. No let up on the pace of this game. So if I want to switch to my droid, do that, you get a bit more firepower. And then of course you've got the ability to um, merge them to your kind of laser, laser power shot. So come on that, a bit of that and then you get some serious firepower. The range isn't quite as good when you're with a droid. And you do need a bit of range on this one. You certainly need a bit of speed. If you activate the uh, hyper, if you like, on that weapon, you get the spread. If you activate it on this, you get a... Do, do a little bit of damage with those um, missiles. Oh! Damage when you're dead. I'm getting seriously close to dying again. Not too good on the old uh, avoidance maneuvers there. Quite some bonuses to be had there, that's good. Adds to the longevity of the game. So yeah, I've got to be cautious of the fact that your ship flies quite a bit faster in this mode of evasive manoeuvring. And when you're in a tight spot, you probably want to be in the other mode. Of course, your weapons on this game are so thunderous that you have to be careful that you've got your eye on enemy bullets as well. It can be it's definitely easy to fight and I just couldn't have seen you then for no reason other than it was hard. Such a feeling of like, I suppose, excitement, you know, to be honest. You know what? I would rate this up though with Thunder Force uh, 4, definitely. There's, there's nothing that's shoddy in this game. It's overpriced because it's just quite rare, you know, quite, this is quite a tough boss, this one. Look at that. I mean, that, you've got to know what's coming there, otherwise you just have it. That's something, yeah, something we 
is going to happen. No, I'll change my shape this time. Ah, ah, ah. Bit of a change. Not ah, ah. Continues, so I better hope that I'm able to get through this level. I've got to get away from that main panel. Luckily, luckily, it didn't get a chance. I oh, got hit by that main panel again. By the way, is suit flash is there? Thanks for watching.